Hi there, it's Shell and Clint, though he's outside. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with some scraps. Uh, they don't have to be huge scraps. And mainly I just wanted to, I saw this on TikTok a while ago. And uh, I want to use up some of my scraps. We have tons of them. And so I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So first we are going to, let me show you. I'm going to cut these into circles like this. So <laughs> the thing is though, I want a quilt for my bed. So, um, but I mean, I was thinking you could use this for junk journal tops. So covers, you know, um, something like that. I think that would be really fun. So you're going to need tons of, um, circles and I believe I need like over 500. And yes, that does sound like a lot. There is a, um, somewhere there is a code on Facebook. I'm not sure where it is. If I find it, I'll tag it. Where you can figure out how many you need to make to create a quilt or, you know, a journal top. Which I'm kind of, I think I'm going to kind of combine them. So maybe I'll work on a quilt and then... If I see some colors that I want to make a journal out of, maybe I'll make a journal cover. I thought that would be really cool. And if nothing else, you're not going to want tons of, um, you're not going to have to do tons. So let me show you what I did. So these are what we're going to do. We're going to turn them into little hexagons. I think that's what they're called. And I have all kinds. I just did these yesterday. So, I mean, I cut the circles out differently, but, um, I sewed all these up yesterday and today, so they go pretty fast, you know. I think there's like 20, 25 in here, and unfortunately I had another neck ache, so I am, um, that's something I can do when I'm sitting on the eating pad. So I'm going to show you, uh, you can't, you can do any size, you could do like a, um, I think these are 4 inch. But you could do like a six inch and of course they'd be a little bit bigger. But we're going to cut out some circles and one way of course is to j just trace something that is a um, circle, a dinner plate, whatever, you know, small dinner plate, whatever. Uh, but I also saw on TikTok a little um, helper to cut them out. So I got that because that's a lot of circles. But if you want to do this, you don't have to have anything special. All you need is some fabric, something to cut out circles, needle and thread. That's it. So, uh, I do have some scraps in the store. If you, you know, need some stuff to get started. Uh, I say scraps. They're pretty good size pieces. So, you might even get like half a quilt out of them, you know, or even more. I don't know. But, um, yeah, Clint had all these. And I'm just making kind of an eclectic uh, journal or cover. So, I'm going to use these. He didn't say I could use them, but he didn't say I couldn't either. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's fine with it. So, let me show you what I have. Uh, I did see where people just oops, sorry, sat and um, drew circles and then drew tons of circles and then cut them out. I needed something easier than that. So I got this nifty, oops, sorry, Fiskars cutter outer thing. And I will link this below if you, if you're interested in it. I, if you're going to do a project like this, I definitely think it's worth the investment for this circle cutter. It's different than the ones we had, you know, where we cut out the, for the tunnel journal. So this one is so much easier, though you have to do it like on the um, fold, which is fine. Hi, honey. Hi, guys. So I'm going to use this one and just <coughs> gonna fold it. So yeah, you just want to fold. And this one's going to be a four inch square. So I just want to make sure it's going to fit. So there is a black... Uh, cross here. There it is. I think you can kind of see it. Anyways, you're going to line it up with the bottom of that black cross. And we're doing the four inch 
the third one. So I just want to make sure that it's big enough for that. That my fold is, that it's not too small. And then you have these little teeth like things. You're just going to line those up. Hold it down because you don't want it to shift. And then you have your circle. So let's cut out a few of them. I definitely want blues and stuff like that because um, it's just better. We have all the cats. Though we don't have a lot of cats in our bedroom. We only have a couple that come in. But I do, you know, it's just nice to have an, a uh, scrap quilt kind of. Look how nice and simple that is. Isn't that awesome? Then I'll show you how to put together the um, squares. Let's see. Is that, yeah, I have enough for one more. Sorry, just kind of making sure that it is lined up. But you definitely want to press down on this because it does shift. And then you have minimal scraps. I mean, that's like nothing. So, let's do this beautiful blue here. And you don't really have to iron. You could if you wanted to. But it's not totally necessary. Uh, I think before I put them together, I'm going to iron them. Just to kind of make sure they look nice, you know, put together. But I really like this for scraps. Using up tons of scraps. I got this little template during the summer. I just didn't have time to do anything with it. So I'm going to get two out of this one, it looks like. Sorry, my head might be in the way. No. And then just line this up. The thing is, it didn't really have instructions. So I kind of had to play around with it and see. Did you guys even see what I was doing? Let me move it right here. Maybe that's will be better. Is it moving? And then if you have enough, of course, I would keep this, but that's not enough for us to keep. So, look at that. I'm already going through, going through my scraps. So, let's do a larger piece of fabric. And let me show you how I've been doing that on this. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. I've been having fun doing this, though my finger is really sore. So I really need to find my, um, what's it called? <laughs> Thimble. So what I've been doing is I just take it, just a large piece, and I go ahead and fold it like two inches up or whatever. Again, you're going to line it up with that black mark. And just make sure what I do is I kind of let's see, it has numbers down here and I go by the four so I just go one two three and four but see it's I still have like an inch so we can bring it down just a little bit and save us some material I don't know how much it's gonna save us you know but I'm saying one, two, three, but it, this is two, three, and four. So I think that will be fine. Line it up with the four inch. Very simple, guys. And then just scooch it over. Line it up. And this is really easy. You just twist it. You don't have to like move it or anything like that just in whatever direction and it just automatically goes really sharp blade. Isn't that pretty? Love those. But yeah, I went through like 20 in the last day and a half <laughs> of these. I've been sitting here reading my book and kind of read and do these at the same time. I'll show you how we're going to make them. So like that. And then grab my scissors which are around here somewhere. Here's a pair. And 
and then I just have been cutting it off just so that you know I can kind of line it up easily and yesterday the way it was full oh let me show you I think I can do it on this one the way it was folded I was able to cut two out at the same time so at the other end. Here it is. Which went really fast. <laughs> so, like here's the fold, right? And then go ahead and fold it again. Like that, so you get two. If I did that right. So, let's see how that works. So, you're just going to double fold it. A little bit faster. One, two, three. It's a little bit too much. So, I'm just trying not to waste fabric, but you know, use up some that I already have because I definitely have the fabric. Boy, that didn't make a difference, did it? <laughs> okay, let's do it a little bit smaller. But then, too, I don't want that piece. You know, the white. You're not really going to see it. I guess it doesn't really matter. But the selvage, because you're not going to see that part. <clears throat> One, two, three. That's just the way it's going to end up. <laughs> okay. And then I just kind of put it right on the edge, get my little doer, my cutter, and it does come with this cutter as well. And if I did it right, I should have two. Nope, I only got one in it. <laughs> That's okay. See, it takes me a while too. <laughs> I bet somebody was like, Michelle, you're doing that wrong. Okay, let's try it like this. Is that how I'm supposed to do it? <laughs> okay, well, let's just go back to how I know I get to use. I think I lucked out yesterday. <laughs> I know how to do it. Okay, let's see if I do it like this. And then fold it in half, I think is what I needed to do my brain I was thinking I did that yesterday how did I do that and of course if you don't want to invest in something like this you definitely don't have to but man definitely a game changer it's nice and cool here like 39 or something I didn't run out to the studio this morning because um, we do have a little bit of propane, but I'm inside on the heating pad. So, but I really need some more of these anyways. There we go. That's how you do too. Oh, you guys, I tell ya. I love this one though. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Okay, let's cut out a couple more. And then I will show you how we are going to create our hexagons. I believe that's what they are called. But I tell you, it just makes it go so fast. You can do this at night when you're sitting in front of the um, TV. Here's Gracie Lynn been a year since she was so sick you know that she almost died and she is a hundred percent has been for a while hi baby <laughs> okay sorry we have cats everywhere inside so that is why we have a studio 
that hopefully will have heat soon. We're supposed to get our heater, I think, today. And then next week, Chloe goes in and gets all of her teeth removed, which is not going to be fun for her or for us. It just breaks my heart when these babies, you know, when they get sick. And I just hate taking them to the vet because I know they, you know, it scares them and and our vet is, you know, 30 miles away, so they have to be in the car for a long time. So it's kind of very limited, you know, pieces. And if you wanted to, Clint's mom collects two inch uh, squares. So I might send her these and she can cut them down and use them into her uh, cathedral window quilt. Mom, do you want those? I don't know if she's watching or not. One, two, or we could come down and just mail them to her, you know. I have a cathedral window too, I just haven't finished it. Okay, I think that's all I can use in there and then I have a box beside me. That I'm just going to toss it. Let's see what else. I'll cut more of this later. But I really wanted some of this twill. can't remember who sent this to Clint, but oh my gosh. I think that is so us on like a, our bed or whatever. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I think I did it like that, right? And then I twist it like this. I think that's how it goes to get to. I can't use much of this one just because I know he's going to want it for a um, journal or something for himself. So again, I'm just going to kind of double check. That looks good. Where's my cutter? Let's see. But I thought this would be perfect for our bed. Uh oh. Might have done it too thick, you think? I might got more than two, I don't know. Doesn't really matter how perfect your edges are. See this one I tripled or whatever. <laughs> One, two. Oh my gosh, I quadrupled it. Cool. I just need to press harder. I tell you, my brain's not working today. But then that's probably all I'll use of this one because I don't want to use all his fabric. Okay. I tell you, my brain's not working today. But you guys, if you know me, that's something normal for me. Clint's asking me what I want for my birthday. It's coming up. Two, three. I think I'm going to go ahead and just fold it just a little bit more. Put these on Halloween. So I think I'll be 54 this year. That looks good. Okay, let's scooch it over just a little. So I don't know what I want. Um, a lot of times, you know, I want craft stuff, but geez, I got so much craft stuff that I'm just not sure. There we go. So yeah, you can do four if you can figure it out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a little issue with that. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know what... I told him what I wanted, but then I forgot what it was, and he's like, oh yeah, I forgot too. <laughs> so it's kind of like, well, if I don't remember now, maybe it's really not something that I would want, you know? I think I wanted something for the yard, but it's in the middle of winter. Well, snow's going to come, you know? Boy, I might do them all like that from now on. 
for it to pop. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah, I just got this at Amazon. I imagine you, they might have it at Hobby Lobby. The Hobby Lobby no longer has, um, you know, those 40% off coupons, which would have been nice. Huh? Okay, so that's all I'm going to use on that one. Let me trim it up for him. I had those large scissors somewhere. You can use that, but don't use all of it. Okay, honey. I won't. Possibly. Thank you to whoever sent that to us. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty for him to do whatever he wants to do out of that. That's what I like about this um, idea is you can... Um, Go ahead and chop this down for mom. Have Clint turn those into two inch squares for her. Let's see. Two. Hmm, that might work. And then we'll mail them to her. She'll think it's a big, you know, surprise. Surprise, mom. If you can use them all, you may as well use them. Mom's doing really well. Clint called her last week, this weekend, I guess. And says so she needs to get some crafts and stuff done. I guess she has a lot of books at home that came while she was gone. So she has been reading those, which is good. That one's too small. Okay. So get two two things out of here. Okay, so let's show you how we are going to, but how many, if I got four and I did four cuts, we got like 16 right then, right? How awesome. So, whatever's in the middle is going to be the middle of your block. So what I've started doing is I go ahead and I separate them and make sure that they are all going the same way because I work out of a little basket. And I'll show you here in a sec. That one where I had the finished ones. This thing. And so I just put them in here upside down. Because you need them upside down to start. Well, I do. And, you know, just take a little bit of time. Cut your circles out. And get you a stack. And that helps a lot. And I haven't put any together yet. I might go ahead and do that when um, there's really nothing interesting in the middle of those. <laughs> Wanted to kind of show you. We'll do the tree. That's a cute one. We'll just do a couple of them just to kind of show you how to do it. Let's see. But I was thinking, even if you did like 20 a day, you know, I could easily do that. That's what I did yesterday, and it only took me like less than an hour. Maybe a little bit more. It, uh... goes really fast but then you know when you're doing your your um, quilting your sewing you can just kind of pull them out and work really quickly I love those fabrics good thing is Clint likes them too so it doesn't matter to him if they're kind of girly okay so we got all those okay let me grab my needle 
which is in here. I keep it in here. Here it is. My thread I keep in here because we have cats. Okay? Yeah, just making a video. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So you just need a needle. It could be bigger than this one. It, this is just the one I had. Can't see my my contacts are supposed to be here today so, or tomorrow. I'm hoping I will be able to see until I get my health eye check thing done. Okay. So let's bring you down here. First thing you're going to do is you're going to find the back side and then we're just going to press it. You just want to kind of line it up pretty well, I mean as well as you can. It doesn't matter if it's a little off and then you're going to have that. You want to make sure you have I do a double strand and then I pull one side so it's a little bit shorter and put a knot. So then right here at this little piece, go ahead and go in. It's going to show on the other side, but just barely. So, and if you go crosswise, you'll have like two little strands. So it depends on what you're looking for. And then when you look at it, I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, there it is. It's a little tiny white strand, which is fine. So you're gonna work on the back side. Very simple. You're gonna go about just eighth of an inch or whatever. Try to stay pretty accurate on that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's it, that's gonna fold it. So then you're just gonna kind of finger press it. Like that. And then what I've been doing is kind of where the fold is, I just go in and pull it like that. So kind of finger press it. I don't really do this like on a board or anything. I just do it while I'm sitting back. Just grab a little bit of it. Kind of finger press it. And then I saw that you know it kind of will bunch up on you so if you kind of keep your hand here while you're pulling it'll kind of keep it in place does that make sense so let me show you this one I didn't finger press as much so like okay see how it kind of came undone so just kind of keep your finger in there hold it in place and that will work and then you just do that on each one And there you go and then you're just going to tack so what I'm doing is I just go through each section just like each layer and then if you had a thimble I think now would be the time to use it <laughs> I do have one I just I'm not sure where it is use the inside of my fingernail but then I keep thinking that needle's gonna pop inside my nail and not gonna be a good thing so I just have been going through each one of them at least once but wouldn't this make a cute um, journal cover take your thread you guys probably know how to tie a knot this is how my grandma taught me and then you're done so I mean they go awfully fast and then if you need to you can kind of pull them together Isn't that pretty so let's do another one real quick again you're going to just kind of line it up kind of finger press it and like I think I told you guys, I'm going to iron them when, um, 
before I put them together. So I'm not going to show that in today's video. Darn it. I always forget to <laughs> tie it into a knot first. Because you use, you know, one piece of thread for several. But I love that I can just use uh, scraps on this. <sighs> Not a big enough knot. <laughs> Story of my life, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. What's the weather like where you are? We haven't had our frost, but you know what? Work is like, it's going to get cold. Everyone's busy. So busy right now. And when it does get cold, I mean, people just call a lot. Okay, so, I mean, okay. We have our stitch there. Sorry. Whew. And then just a little bit here. Just kind of grab it. I just go in about the same each time. And pull it. And I just hold it in my hand. And I just kind of, you know, hold it again. And you'll get the feel for it. It doesn't take very long. To kind of get it going for you. <laughs> After you're done 20 or 30 of them, you got the feel for it. Very simple. I like simple projects. Mindless, which is really nice. You know, sometimes that's all you want. And then we have beautiful little leaves. So one lady I saw, she ended up doing her hexagons. I haven't been watching TikTok in months. But um, she was doing her her hexagons. And they ended up being like a half inch each. Right? I mean, tiny, tiny, tiny. Literally this tiny. They were crazy. So there is a uh, calculator on the internet that you can figure out how much uh, when I try to sorry uh, do this real quick if I feel like it's too deep I go through and just make sure I it didn't come through my needle doesn't come through the other side sometimes it's hard to get that top layer I mean if you don't mind that that's up to you but but yeah uh, so she was doing like a half inch and I think she needed like, so she did that calculator to see how many she would need. And they were so cute. I mean, adorable. Over 14,000 hexagons. <laughs> I was thinking, I just don't think I would want to do it that big, that little. And you can do like six or eight inch, you know, depending on how, how big you want to do. In fact, I'll probably need a lot more than 500. But, I was thinking, what a fun idea, you know, to just be able to sit and create a quilt. And if I get tired of it, which sometimes does happen, and I decide not to go for my quilt, I can either do like a junk, or a junk cover, junk journal cover, or, now's the time to tie the knot, or, um, a window of the lance or something you know I mean you don't have to do that so I'm gonna find a kind of straight one just show you how we would put them together so let's see let's use this one I haven't put any together yet but you're just gonna line up right sides to right sides and we're just gonna do a whip stitch very simple I was going to iron them, but they're pretty straight. So, and they say if they're not like 100% uh, together, that's fine. We're not going to see the bottom anyways. So, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of here, just to kind of put that knot a little bit down further. And then I'll whip stitch it. So you can see. Okay. So just do your corner. 
I'm going to do my corner a couple of times just to make sure it's nice and tight because, you know, that might be where it, if I have any issues. You can also do like a ladder stitch and you're actually hiding your um, thread, but it doesn't bother me to see my thread. Very simple. So you're just going to go over and through. Over and through. Yeah, I definitely need to find my... <laughs> One of my thimbles anyways. I have several. sore is that one little finger, you know, from pressing. Okay, and then this one. You could tie off here if you wanted to, but I think I'm going to grab another one and just attach it to. I just don't want, you know, like a whole bunch of likes to go together and there we go so it's fine some of my stitches are not perfect but I'm not gonna worry about it it's a handmade quilt you know so it's not it's not super worrisome so all you do is let's do this one together just so you can kind of see oops likes no that's right <laughs> no let me figure this out hold on <laughs> <laughs> like to like I don't really have a direction right now so I'm not going to worry about that so let's do this one you know so you can just my stitches would probably be better if I could see up close but I think I told you my uh one of my contacts broke. So I'll have to get some more. And you can do an eye test on the internet. But I'll have to I have an appointment on my birthday, which is still a month away, to get my eyes checked for health and stuff. Then I'll get more accurate contacts, you know. But right now I am having an issue and if I decide I don't like how I did these I can use my new seam rippers that Clint is making and rip them out <laughs> good thing is they're very, very easy but yeah there's a ladder stitch too which you actually go side to side if you don't want to see your stitches but I love the kind of the um rustic look I think so far they're pretty close in the, to the same size then I'm going to do a couple here and then let's show you what I have that's what I have so in order to attach it to this one we would fold it like this and kind of and whip stitch it let's see so there it is if you wanted to go ahead with your thread you could kind of like either put it underneath because you're not going to see this part you know on this side and if you really don't want to do this by hand you can do it on a machine they have shown that they use like a zigzag stitch really pretty too just depends on what you want to do Your 
one of my cats chewing on paper. I don't know, they do that. Usually it's plastic. Oh yeah, it's plastic cable. <laughs> Pulled my trash bag, I put a trash bag beside my uh, chair. And he pulled it off the hook that I have for it. And he's chewing on it. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how I would just tie it off. Let's see if I did it right. <laughs> you never know about me. There we go. Then we have three. So simple. It doesn't take long at all. And then, again, what I would do, you're not going to see any of the back. I think I'm going to actually cover it with a cover. Uh, like a backing, so you're not even going to see anything on the back. So the back does not have to be pretty. So I just tied it off, knotted it, and there we are. So that is the start of my queen size quilt. <laughs> we'll see how far we get. Hope you guys give this a try if you want to see any other tutorials on it. Let me know, and we'll see if I end up uh, making a quilt or like. A junk journal cover or a valance or all three who knows <laughs> thanks for watching love you guys see you in the next video